Hi, my name is Jay Johnson. I'm the pastor here at the church in Royal, Illinois. Um, just want to share a, a comment about what we're going to be doing in the next, uh, the next uh, couple of weeks. This Sunday, we're going to be talking about forgiveness. And forgiveness comes when we, uh, well, there's a need for forgiveness when we do something that's against another person or most importantly, against the will of God. How do we know when we do something that's not correct? Well, there's a great phrase that applies to uh, a lot of kids that were raised on a farm. Uh, it talks about your boundaries on your, on your property. We always had fence lines when we were kids that we had to clean the fence lines and make sure the fence posts were straight because you, need to, you needed to know that the line between you and your neighbors was fixed. Well, those were the times when just about every, um, every field had fences so because you'd, you would have cattle or, or animals sometimes hogs or cattle on, on, on those, uh, those fields. Uh, if you raised corn, when the corn harvest was over, then you would turn your cattle or your, your hogs out on the corn and they would, they would uh, feed off the, the fallen corn. Anyway, here's a good example. And I, I bring this up because Proverbs chapter 22, verse 28 says this. It says, um, uh, Do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. Uh, those boundary stones are meant there. They're meant to be there to make sure there's a fixed place that you don't cross over. Now, that's not just about property lines. It's also about um, lines of integrity, lines of honesty. We don't cross over and do something that's against, uh, that's against another person's uh, property or person. We have these boundaries. We have these limits, and these limits are the things that keep us from infringing upon the rights or responsibilities of other people. I'd like to share this uh, example with you. It's, um, it comes from um, something my grandpa did uh, quite a while ago. I was a little little boy. I was not there when it happened because I was too small. My parents, uh, they bought a farm back in 1947, and they, uh, they needed to put some new uh, fences. Um, the fence lines were there, but they needed to to, re, to reset the fence posts and put the fence up. And so my grandfather, um, his name was Bennett Johnson, he would come out and he would uh, spend time on the farm helping my dad out, doing the things that needed to be done. And he would come out on Monday morning and he'd stay there all mon Monday through Friday. Friday evening he would, uh, he would go back and he'd, he would be, be with uh, my grandma uh, on the weekends. Friday night through uh, Sunday night. Then he'd come back out to the farm and he'd help us. Well, my, my dad needed some new fence put up on the, the back field to the northeast of the, of the house. And uh, so my brother Roger, who was about 13 or 14 at the time, and he was a big kid. And he was, you know, he was strong and he knew how to handle a, a spade and a, and a post hole digger. And so Grandpa and my brother went out, and they were going to set this line. So what you did was you got your two you end posts, and you'd stretch a line of barbed wire between them so you get the line right on the ground so you knew exactly where the fence post needed to go. You, you stuck, out, stuck right on that line. And that was the, that was the guide. And so uh, Grandpa, they would pace off the, the distance between the fence posts. They'd mark it, and they would they would begin to dig the holes. And once the holes were dug, then they would put the, the, put the fence line in. Well, it was a Friday afternoon, and uh, Grandpa was, um, it was getting late in the day, so Grandpa decided it was, it was time to go. So he left, and he, my brother stayed behind, and, and as Grandpa left uh, for the weekend, my brother stayed there and dug the post holes, and uh, that, was, that was part of the job he needed to do. But then he got the brilliant idea He's going to set the fence post. Uh, now it's uh, it's not it's not a quick job just to drop a steel fence post in and, and set it on the ground. With these fence posts, you have to they're they're hedge posts, and you got to line them up so that there's as as the, the as the, the fence line runs in the direction along the line, you need to make sure that the edge of that fence post is always straight up and down. It may look crooked from the side, but straight up and down so it holds the fence rigid and straight. So Roger did his best. He went in there and he set all the fence posts and things looked good. Come Sunday, um, Sunday, uh, Monday morning, 
Grandpa came back out, went out in the field, and, and there's my brother, proud as anything. The fence, the fence posts are, are all set. Grandpa walks down that line, he looks down that line. Mm. Roger thinks he's going to get a big compliment. My brother is disappointed because Grandpa says, no, it's not in line. What? Not in line? Of course it's in line. He spent all that time doing that. No, it wasn't in line. Grandpa said, uh, it's off. It's off about it's off about an inch. An inch? Who cares? That's an inch. Grandpa said, not only one fence post, but all of them. Every fence post, for some reason, something had caught that, 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 that strand of barbed wire on the ground that was, was pulled tight, but somehow it had been moved over. It could have been a rock or a clod of dirt or another post that had leaned against it. And so my brother had to, my brother, my grandpa, they had to dig up every single fence post and redo the job. Now, that story has been told uh, in my family for the last uh, 70 years. And uh, I'm telling it to you. And the point of the story is we need to make sure the boundaries that we have are legitimate, honest, and true. When we step over a boundary, when we infringe upon another person's right, when we step into their realm of responsibility, when we offend them in any way by, th some, by doing something that's not correct, then we, we transgress, we go over the boundary, we, we, we're out of bounds. We can't do that. God wants to make sure that our lives are, are beyond question. And when we do something wrong, we have to ask forgiveness for the things we've done. My brother did not want to ask for forgiveness because as far as he was concerned, it didn't matter to anybody because it's only going to be that far off and it's going to be in the back of the field where nobody's going to see it. But for my grandpa, my grandpa knew it. And it was worth the effort because of a man of integrity who says, I will do the right thing at the right time and at all times. God calls us to that, uh, that caliber of responsibility as well. I want to share that with you. We're going to be talking about forgiveness uh, this weekend, and we're going to be talking about some of those uh, similar things in days to come. So thank you very much. Thanks for the time to, to be with us. Um, hope to see you next week. Take care. Bye now.